Mom spots Ian on teacher's car, then cops look in her trunk. Miss Smith knew she was in serious trouble. She could see it in the police officer's piercing brown eyes, through his clenched fists and his authoritative tone. She insisted there was nothing in her car apart from discarded candy wrappers and a fluffy blanket, but the police officer thought otherwise. Nosy employees and worried parents stood watching Miss Smith get searched in the parking lot. They had no idea that in a mere few minutes they were going to discover something truly unimaginable about their favorite teacher. Millie Glynn was a devoted working single parent to her two eight-year-old twins, Sean and Molly. While balancing her job with motherhood was a struggle at times, Millie knew her two kids were worth it. But Millie wasn't alone. Her twins teacher Miss Smith was always there for Millie and her kids. But Millie had no idea what this teacher was hiding. Millie's children's teacher was called Miss Smith and she was a fantastic teacher. Millie could tell she loved her job and genuinely loved making a difference in kids' lives. But nobody knew that this so-called lovely teacher was hiding a secret. Until now. It was nearly summer break and the school was full of excited students. Millie dropped her two kids off before she headed to work. She watched her twins skip to the school gate and her heart gushed with emotion. They sure were growing up. Millie then set off for work thinking it was just going to be an ordinary day. But she was so wrong. While Millie was working, she often wondered what her two kids were up to at school. She wasn't worried though, she knew her two twins would be behaving for Miss Smith, but she had no idea what she would soon find out about her children's favorite teacher. While Millie was at work, Miss Smith was teaching her class about the tutors. Miss Smith was known for her kind and caring attitude. That's what made her different from other teachers. Everybody seemed to love Miss Smith. She was popular amongst staff and pupils. So it took everybody by surprise when the cops uncovered something truly unimaginable hiding in her trunk. After a busy day, it was time for Millie to pick her two kids from school. She clocked out of work and drove along the highway to their school. She couldn't wait to see their little faces. But when she pulled up to the school, she saw something that stopped her cold. A few meters away there was a note on a car. Straight away, Millie knew it was Miss Smith's car, but what did the note say? Millie hopped out of her car and slowly got closer to the note. As soon as she read it, she knew she had no other choice. She got out her phone and dialed 911. Meanwhile, Miss Smith had just finished her last lesson of the day. After taking a sip of coffee, she sat back on her chair and let out a sigh. Suddenly, she heard a hard knock on the door. Miss Smith, are you there? asked a fellow coworker. Before Miss Smith even got the chance to get up and reply, her coworker crashed through the door with a startled like on her face. Something was wrong. Miss Smith's coworker revealed that a police officer was waiting for her in the hallway. Straight away, Miss Smith could feel panic wash over. She raced outside and into the hallway, but was even more surprised to see that her boyfriend Lewis was standing next to the police officer. What was going on? Had something happened? When Miss Smith finally found out the truth, she was lost for words. With a lump in her throat, Miss Smith asked her boyfriend Lewis what was wrong, but he merely looked at the floor, avoiding all eye contact with the worried teacher. Hi Miss Smith, the police officer said, his tone authoritative, I'm Officer Jones. Miss Smith looked at the officer with fear in her eyes. She had no idea that in a mere 15 minutes her entire world would be turned upside down. Officer Jones asked Miss Smith if she had her car keys, which stumped Miss Smith even more. She retrieved them from her designer handbag and dangled them in front of the officer. Come outside, he said with a frown. Slowly, Miss Smith made her way outside. She had no idea what was happening, but she wasn't prepared for what the cops would find in her trunk. While loud in the parking lot, Officer Jones told Miss Smith his police dog had sensed something strange near her car, which meant he had to check her trunk. Nothing made sense to Miss Smith anymore. But in a few minutes, everything would fall into place, and Miss Smith would learn the harrowing truth about what was inside her trunk. Miss Smith knew she was in serious trouble. She could see it in the officer's piercing eyes and in his clenched fists and his authoritative tone. But she couldn't understand what she had done wrong. There was nothing in the car apart from a few empty water bottles and a fluffy blanket, right? Miss Smith gave the police officer permission to unlock the car and take a look inside. Within a matter of seconds, she watched the officer step inside her car and she prepared for the worst. But she had no idea what was about to happen next. Miss Smith could feel humiliation and fear wash over her as she watched the police officer look around in her trunk. With every move the officer made, Miss Smith's heartbeat skipped a beat. Then suddenly, her boyfriend Lewis looked at Miss Smith with his bright blue eyes and pulled her in close. This brought some relief and comfort to the worried teacher. She so badly wanted him to save her from whatever trouble was ahead, but this was going to be far from easy. Miss Smith could feel tears well up in her eyes and an uneasy feeling in the pit of her stomach as she proclaimed her innocence to her boyfriend. But then suddenly, the officer who was looking through Miss Smith's trunk let out a gasp and he stumbled back. What had he found? 
Just as Miss Smith was about to race over to her trunk to see what was inside, suddenly her boyfriend pulled her back. What's wrong? She asked, turning to face him. She saw fear in his eyes, and she felt a shiver up her spine. What her boyfriend was about to do was going to change her life forever. Miss Smith's boyfriend got down on one knee and asked the question that all women longed to be asked. My love, will you marry me? He asked, while his Hollywood smile sparkled in the light. He pulled out a beautiful ring, and tears of happiness streamed down Miss Smith's face. Yes. She screamed. She hugged her boyfriend, now fiancé, but Miss Smith was confused. Was there even anything in her trunk? While the newly engaged couple hugged and embraced each other, Officer Jones and Millie, who had been a part of this incredible plan all along, clapped for the happy couple. But Millie knew she had to tell Miss Smith the truth. She pulled her aside and revealed everything. You see, when Millie arrived at school earlier in the day she saw a note on Miss Smith's car that stopped her cold. It put things totally in perspective. It made such an impact that she called up Miss Smith's boyfriend and told him of her plan. But what did this note say exactly? The note said love and live every day like it's your last. And it was a motto Millie lived by. She knew that Miss Smith and her boyfriend were meant to be, they just needed a bit of pushing that's all. Once Miss Smith's boyfriend agreed to propose, Millie then asked a friend on the force to join in on this elaborate plan. And it was safe to say this plan sure worked.